Hey everyone, I'm Laura, and together with my husband Jay and our dogs Jake and Coda, we are bringing you our YouTube channel all about van life in our van toaster. We're going to share with you tips and tricks and what it's like to travel around in a van. So if you've always wondered what it's like, this is the place for you. Did you Thanks. get the sheets? I did. I got them. Where are they? Hi, doggy. So. One thing that you should know about us is that we have never had a van in the sense of sleeping in a van before. We've never owned an RV. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really like to camp that much, but Jay's an Eagle Scout. And so this was the perfect compromise for us. Explain how this works. Give us a little toilet tutorial. A toilet tutorial. Ah, <laughs> it's my toilet tutorial. It's a toilet tutorial. Oh, okay. I think I got it now. Okay. Let's so here. that goes in first. There's two of them, right? Well, they're connected. Oh. The bigger one's inside the other one. Good. So we got double layers. So there will be no leakage into the actual bucket, right? And on there's chemicals in there. What? Let me see. See the powder at the bottom? <gasps> oh, that's fancy. Hey, we are like top notch here. I have to admit, the sunset over the. Oh my god, that's in a place. Oh yeah, it's fancy. It's for real. <laughs> so, what you're saying is we have a toilet in the van, yes. but we're not using we're it. We're not allowed to use that one. Okay, ever? No, we can't. When it warms up, all right. Or actually, if you have to use it even tonight, you get it. For number one. All right. Are they instructions? No. What are they? Warnings. Oh, great. Don't blow up. Great. So there's warnings, but no instructions. Well, there's a whole manual of instructions. Oh, we don't want to do it. <gasps> Man, make fire. It's down here or something. Maybe tomorrow when it's not as windy. Is it supposed to be better tomorrow? Yes. Here, tomorrow is supposed little, to be better. We can bring a little picnic. It's so fun. There's, There's the windmills. So distance. Oh, wow. The middle 1800s? That's so cool. Oh my gosh, my husband, he's a mess. Look at him, trying to get the dogs to change. just spilled all the hot cocoa in the brand new cooktop. Like there was two inches of it in there. I'm not kidding. There was two inches. So, um, J five or a negative five. Okay. First dinner in toaster. Okay. It's not that exciting. I swear. Um, so I've got <laughs> tortillas. I've got cheese in the microwave. I've got beans and cheese. I'm going to cook on the stove some Mexican rice and I have fruit in the fridge and chips and I need to find salsa. So one thing that is so true about, sorry, camper van life is that you have to kind of put things where they won't fall out. So I put the salsa in here so that it wouldn't spill when I open the cabinet. So that's dinner tonight.
that one of the things about van life that um, is going to probably be a thing is that kind of taking turns having time in the van where either somebody's on the bed or sitting up here so that the other person can get dressed. So Jay just left for his bike ride. So now it's my turn to, I'm going to get dressed, kind of clean up around here, take the dogs for a little walk, and then I'll have a little work time when he gets back. If I wanted to go on a bike ride, I could, but instead we're going to take a, a family walk. But I don't know. It's kind of fun figuring out how this is going to work. This is such a good um, van life tip for those of you that really like ice, but you have a small fridge. Check this out. So I got these. You can get them anywhere. Um, I got them at Crate and Barrel, but look. So you just need like one ice cube per day. Brilliant. Doesn't take up much room in your freezer either. Oh, yeah. For sure. Uh, what are you guys going to do? I'm going to get dressed because I'm still in my pajamas <laughs> and take the trash out oh, yeah. and I don't know take the dogs on a short walk good. have fun right, okay bye so I know that it doesn't seem like camping in November in Missouri at a conference conservation area would be the desirable thing to do. But I will tell you that we have had the best time. Jay found the best camping spot. The sunsets are beautiful. We have it all to ourselves because November. And the fire pit and just room for the dogs to run. So it has been a great first outing for Toaster. I cannot wait until we 